Well, my business partner here who's hiding behind the camera um, my is business partner. part of the Hollywood Critics Association and Tyga gave an incredible speech for Jojo Rabbit at that award show last yes. week. And I adore them. He pulls them. it off. He pulls it off. He did He's a pretty good at it. Yeah. I believe he like thanked you in the... Oh, that's didn't nice. He? Yes. <laughs> yes. He did it was really funny. He said it might be his only chance that he wanted to like... I, lo I adore that movie. Oh, Jojo great. is incredible. You've worked with him before. What we do in the shadows. Yes. How did you guys meet each other and start working with each other? Oh my goodness. Uh, we actually met on the set of Boy, which was one of his first yes, ever films. That, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. I love that though. Yeah, yeah, so we did. We met on that film um, and we kind of just, you know, as you do, continue your relationship from there. But um, it, it kind of has evolved over the many years and Jojo Rabbit was really, a, a, I guess, a project that was dear to our hearts and started in 2011 actually. I didn't know. It's yeah, like, oh yeah. So it's kind of been around for a long, long time. And um, I remember pitching it at Bill and Ali co-production market to a bunch of Germans, and they were actually surprisingly really into it. I love it. Yeah, they they kind of loved it too. But I think it needed to take its time, and it needed to marinate a little bit. And also, Taika needed to kind of step away from that. And you know, he, then he built his career and his name through Shadows, and then through Thor and Shadows you know. so much. I mean, yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh my god, I could watch that movie like thirty times in a row. Really? <laughs> no, yeah, no, seriously, I've seen it so many times. It's like, and this show is. I'm so glad this show is doing great. Yeah, the show is great. Yeah, it's good for everyone actually involved. Oh, it's nice to see something like that you can make in small little hometown New Zealand and Wellington can then you know jump onto screens here and people take it and embrace it and love it. Oh, it has such a huge following. Like, there's like yeah. hardcore fans. I'm, I'm one of them. But JoJo was so special. I remember the screening we went to and afterwards just everybody just was, it was like it was such a nice atmosphere because everyone loved it so much. It's such a special film, and I don't think anybody but him could have come up with that story. It's yeah, or could have done it. I think pulled it off. Yeah, you know, in that tone as well. Because I mean, you're dealing with a pretty touchy subject, and I think the genius of it is actually to see kind of war told through the eyes of a child. Which is, I, I mean, I'm Jewish, and like. I made my grandparents see it because it's oh, such really? a, and yeah. how, what did they, they liked say? it. Like everybody, right. my parents loved it. Like, because wow. it is through the eyes of a child. Yeah, and if you have to, I think if you you have to recognize that, otherwise you're missing the whole. Absolutely, yeah. and you really do see the atrocities of war through the eyes, <laughs> and you realize as adults the kind of stupid things we do and the mistakes we make. What we're doing is actually affecting the next generation. Absolutely. So even though it was set back in World War II, we have to be cognizant of, about what the oh, decisions we're doing now. You know. Yeah, because we're doomed to repeat the same sh crap if we don't <laughs> like learn from it. But it's such a special movie. I'm so glad that you guys made it. And thank you, Roman. The, oh, oh my God. I know. <laughs> All of them, oh, everyone. Oh, the little yeah. friend of his in it. I'm yes, obsessed with that. Little Yorkie. I'm obsessed Just, with him as well. Yeah, <laughs> like a, a lovely friendship. But then, you know, the other great thing is Thomas and Mackenzie. You know. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, wow, she is phenomenal. She's so good. Uh, and I, I hadn't realized of her before at JoJo. Right. So she's yeah. a Kiwi. She was before that. She was in Leave No Trace, Deborah Granick's film. Okay. So it seems like Deborah Granick has this intuitive way of finding the most amazing young actresses coming up she's through the ranks you know so good yeah she so found jennifer lawrence you know so I didn't Granick, yeah and winter's bone you're right oh my god yeah. I to <laughs> so she's 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 incredible but she really put thomason you know on the world stage and then taika was lucky enough to be able to scoop her up and put her in the swim and it's so lovely that there are so many kiwis involved i know is it i love yeah. that you're like oh. <laughs> the kiwi love yes, fest it is a kiwi love fest and it's funny because we're Kiwis and our national bird is a Kiwi, but it's flightless. Right. But Wait, we is, are flying is. around the world, you know. You definitely are. Yeah. yeah, everywhere, which yeah. I love. And I hope, do you, have, do you have anything else in the works you're able to talk about? You probably not. Yeah, no, no I do. I do actually. I have um, two Persian films. Are you serious? Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you do. One of them uh, is written and directed by Sofia Kiapos and it's called Arazu. And it's a beautiful story set in Tehran, 10 years after the revolution. It's about a little girl who discovers the illegal underground ballet scene and rewrites her destiny. It's absolutely Okay, gorgeous. this sounds like amazing. Like I'm like, yes. I'm like so into this. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back here next year doing oh, the same good. thing. Good, we'll be Getting here. Getting the Oscar noms yeah. again. Yeah, and then uh, Hollywood Critics Association 
you nominating are. that as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the other film I'm working on is called Thief of Sleep, and that is written and directed by Dar or Darwin Sarank. And that's about, it's set now in contemporary uh, times, and it's about a young closeted gay man who has to flee Iran and seek asylum in Scotland. And um, he goes there to be with his estranged family, but soon discovers that the West is not always the best. And, yeah. I mean, those both sound like incredible. Like I, they, they really are. And I think for me, um, stories that are rooted in truth and also authentic stories, you know, the Arizu is all in Farsi. It's a completely oh, foreign language film. I love, I love that it's in Farsi. Yeah. Thank God, because it I, should be. I, it should be. Like I, I can't stand it when like I'm like, why do you have to change your language? Neither. It's not that hard to read a subtitle. First yes. of all, I'm sorry. Well, look what Boon Jong Ho's just done. You know, with Parasite. I mean, he said it so exactly. perfectly well, didn't he? he? Was like, come on, get over that little. And I'm, I'm so happy that did well because finally, I'm like, okay, there's a little inkling of hope. Like, come on. Yes. It's not that. I, I mean, I grew up loving foreign film. Like, I, I, Fellini was one of my favorite directors growing up. So like. It's like, a, a, come on, you're missing out on so much if yes. you just don't like, keep your mind open a little Yeah, bit. and we're lucky that that film is actually, you know, right out in the front at the moment, you know? Yeah. So, no. yeah. So I just remember even like when, I'll be 40 this year, but when I was in film school, like there was like one woman director that was, like there was, right. no, there was not a lot. I right. mean, out there, there was. You really had to search. So. Oh, you had to. You know, one of my mentors, Mira Tamita, who's known as the indigenous grandmother of cinema. Yeah. Like, oh my God. And I, we had a film in Sundance uh, last year, and Ava DuVernay picked that up because she recognised the importance of that story. You know, women supporting women. That's what it's in. We got to do that. Yeah, we got to so, do it. Thank you. It's thank filming you. Italy for honoring Chelsea. Yeah, thank you. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's so lovely to meet you.